it's been one of the when you see the entire uh, almost digital life of an individual available there for sale for a few dollars, it's um, uh, it's um, mind blowingly um, scary and worrying and concerning. You know, like a identity theft is is it cannot not occur when you have all of these. Uh, credentials for a single individual. When, it's, when you're thinking about leak credentials in general, you have you know one or two uh, credentials, and then maybe the malicious actor is able to log in the email account and pivot to the banking account or to a government account, uh, and you know, potentially arrive to, to all this. But when you're looking at these infected devices, it's really dramatic the uh, the 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 value a malicious uh, actor can get. You, know, you have the credentials for the the different online banks the person is using, like right there in clear text in front of you. Uh, plus the different government services, and if you know, with with some steps, some some reasonable steps, the actor can can use um, residential proxies and things of that nature to to avoid additional MFA to be triggered. You know, depending on on the service, uh, of course. But it's uh, yeah, it it's really I think mind blowing, and I, I do hope uh, in, in general that this will go down in the future and not uh, keep increasing uh, for those people. I think the thing that strikes me when I look, because the way that they're published on Russian Genesis Market, what tends to happen is they'll have every single, like you'll be able to see all of the logins that the specific, uh, the specific infected device has access to along with some like general geographic data. And what always strikes me is how personal so much of it, I mean, how much I could sit and look at 50 or 60 saved logins and you know, you can figure out what bank somebody uses, potentially where they live, if they're, you know, have access to like local gyms and things like that. I mean, whether they're a student, like what type of work they do. You can even sometimes tell people's hobbies and it, it's really alarming in a way because I, I think like from a like malicious standpoint, they, they pose a lot more risk than, so, I mean, traditional stolen credentials are still responsible for a lot of cyber attacks, but these pose a lot more risk in some ways because they, a threat actor could potentially use them to get much deeper into somebody's life or into a company even than a traditional, you know, like the, the more, uh, the stuff that everybody's been looking at for 10 years. 